Hello everyone, always a joy to be talking to you from Palma. We're here at the Visit Mallorca Estadi. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company in the commentary box today is, of course, Stuart Robson. And we're focusing on, technically speaking, one of the best leagues in the world. I'm talking, of course, about La Liga. It's Mallorca versus Barcelona. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. But it looks as though they're lining up fairly defensively with a back five. But I think the wing-backs will have license to get forward at every opportunity. And also watch out for one of the central midfield players going to join the front two. Stegen stands between the posts. Frankie de Jong plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield and getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Robert Lewandowski. And now they get the ball rolling. Oh, nice work to get past his opponent. Lewandowski. Lewandowski. Could be. And the keeper there to deal with it. Fired over by Usman Dembele. It might still be problematic. And a time for calm on the ball. Well, the numbers speak for themselves. Barcelona with the best defensive record in the league. And they know how to neutralise their opponents. Well, they don't concede too many goals, do they? And that comes down to their desire to stop the opposition playing. Whether it's pressing the ball high up the field or making them play predictably, they really are a good defensive team. Pedri, Frankie de Jong, de Jong, Tempele, and you need your defender to take charge. A very good tackle. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Clément Grenier. Here's Bataglia. Dani Rodriguez. Really good challenge. Tempele. Barcelona in the quest to take the lead might be helped out by this corner. Fired over by Usman Dembele. Not away completely. Dembele. Textbook defending inside the box. Well, those stats tell you everything. A tight and cagey game without enough goal mouth action. Both teams need to get more players forward if they're to pose a real threat. Yes, a stalemate so far. Will that situation change? Danny Rodriguez. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Good tackle. It'll be a throw.
determined defending. Well, very effective play in possession. Frankie de Jong. So, half time then. It was a tense first half, but they cannot be set. And they. So, back underway. And an intriguing second half in prospect. Kangin Lee on the offensive. Options in the middle. Throw in here for Barcelona. Sergio Busquets. Lewandowski. And he could really get at the opposition. Will he finish? And a goal here to open the scoring from Robert Lewandowski. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. He skips past his marker, and that gives him the space to get his shot away. Excellent stuff from him. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Bataglia. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Raymond Grenier. Danny Rodriguez. Interception to snuff out the danger. Now he must favour the cross. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. But then the one that fails to hit its target. Pedri. This is Robert Lewandowski. Kangin Lee. Can he make it count? And the challenge, crisp and clean. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Just ten minutes to go. De Jong. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Jordi Alba. Great challenge. He got nothing but ball. Lee. Well, the players should be inspired by this. The crowd have really got behind them today. This could level it. But denied by the keeper. And at this late stage of the proceedings... And the final whistle has sounded, the end of the game here, a win for Barcelona. Their fans are going to be happy about that.